A dangerous storm system is set to impact the United States over the next few days, and this will bring a ton of problems, including the return of significant severe weather, which includes damaging winds, large hail, and strong tornadoes. Additionally, the warmest weather we've seen all year will be impacting the country tomorrow, with temperatures as high as 110 degrees in parts of the southern plains. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And we still have a large storm system that is impacting the Ohio Valley and the East Coast. And this brought a lot of flooding in addition to tornadoes over the last five days from Florida, Alabama, and Georgia, all the way through Virginia and North Carolina. But the good news is, is that it is weakening and will no longer be a concern after tomorrow. And then across the Great Plains in the Midwest, things are looking very quiet for right now. But that is only going to last another day or two because we are expecting a very active weather pattern to set settle in and bring multiple rounds of severe weather across the Great Plains, the Midwest, and the Ohio Valley as we go throughout the rest of this weekend, even into the weekend, and as well as next week. So we have a bunch of severe weather upcoming over the next week across the United States, and it all begins on Wednesday, where we have a slight risk of severe weather in place across the Dakotas, back into Iowa and Nebraska, where large hail, damaging winds, and a low tornado risk are going to exist. So definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware and having multiple ways to receive alerts. As we go into Thursday, our risk of severe weather will shift to the east, and we could have a much more significant and robust threat of severe weather on both Thursday and Friday. It all begins on Thursday across the Midwest, where we could see significant damaging winds, large to very large hail, and tornadoes, and strong tornadoes are a possibility. The question really will remain if storms actually fire. That is a big question mark, and so for right now, the Storm Prediction Center has remained conservative with their forecast, leaving a slight risk of severe weather in place. I do think it is very possible if convective initiation does become more likely as we get closer, we definitely could see an enhanced or even a moderate risk of severe weather in place. And if we were to see anything like that, I think this is really the main corridor of severe weather, mainly from Chicago and across Indiana, back into western Ohio, southwestern Michigan, and even parts of northern Kentucky. And then on Friday, the Storm Prediction Center for now has a small slight risk of severe weather in place across the mid-Mississippi River Valley and parts of the Tennessee Valley. Valley, where additional damaging winds and hail are going to be possible. The tornado risk on Friday is unclear as of right now, but if we have the right storm mode with discrete supercells, I could easily see there being another potential tornado outbreak on Friday. So keep in mind, Thursday and Friday, they could easily be outbreaks of severe weather, and we could easily have tornado outbreaks, but it's going to depend on convective initiation and as well as our storm mode. And I do want to point out that the Storm Prediction Center does have a conservative forecast for both Thursday and Friday, but this is a machine learning tool specifically for Thursday of this week in terms of our SBC outlooks. And essentially, the red means an enhanced risk, and it shows a pretty large area and even has a couple areas outlined for moderate risks of severe weather. Now, I'm not saying that's what we're going to see in the near future, but I do want to point out that it is a possibility that our risk will be upgraded much further, and the machine learning tool here that I'm showing you has been very accurate so far this year. So it's definitely possible that we see a, an enhanced risk, if not even a moderate risk of severe weather issued for Thursday, but it's going to be highly dependent on if storms actually actually fire off and so far models are not really showing many storms firing if any but if storms are able to fire it is a very favorable environment for all hazards of severe weather and then on Friday it shows a very similar story where right now the storm prediction center has a small slight risk of severe weather in place where the greatest confidence of severe weather is going to be located but notice how it also shows in the red a enhanced risk of severe weather in a large area and a moderate risk in the purple so keep in mind that these risks could easily grow over the next couple of days but it's going to depend on what our storm mode is and again about convective initiation so definitely make sure that you're staying tuned to the channel we could have two big days of severe weather on both thursday and friday make sure you subscribe down below we'll keep you posted with the latest on everything that you need to know and for now the storm prediction center does not have a risk of severe weather outlined for saturday sunday or monday but i do think on saturday we're going to see some scattered severe weather mainly across the dixie alley and back into the southern plains where damaging winds and hail will be the main concerns and then by sunday we're gonna have another trough ejection that goes over the Rockies that should lead to more severe weather in the central and southern plains and we could even see an outbreak or two as we go into Sunday Monday and Tuesday and then on Monday we are expecting a large area to have a risk of severe storms it will again depend on storm initiation capping all sorts of stuff which is why the storm prediction center has been hesitant on issuing any sort of outlook at least for Sunday Monday and Tuesday but no matter what it's going to be a pretty favorable environment for severe weather if storms do fire off so over the next few days we are going to have a bunch of huge storms in 
impacting the United States. And the first one arrives as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. It is expected to be a relatively strong storm. This is our jet stream. Very strong southwesterly flow will position itself across the Midwest, which will lead to a more elevated risk of severe weather if storms do fire off. It is also a negatively tilted trough, which is going to help to pull a lot of moisture out of the Gulf. As we go into Friday and Saturday, this storm is going to sit just to the north of the Midwest, which will promote more severe weather on Friday across the Ohio Valley. And then on Saturday, we should see a continuation of some severe storms just to the south of this low pressure system. It'll probably be a pretty large area, but I do think severe weather on Saturday will be pretty scattered in nature. I'm not expecting any sort of tornado outbreak, at least for now on Saturday, but I do think we'll at least have some scattered severe weather across a large area. On Sunday will be kind of a transition day as this storm weakens off in the northeast. A brand new digging trough will be in place back over near the Rockies, and this is expected to be another significant storm system as we go into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. It'll position itself really perfectly here across the central and southern plains. The trough a little bit further north of where it really needs to be for a more organized outbreak of severe weather, but nonetheless, I do think with a very strong southwesterly flow in the jet stream, we are going to have a favorable environment at least on Monday and Tuesday for significant severe weather, including the threat of strong tornadoes. And then on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, that low pressure system will start to spin out across the Midwest. We should see more severe weather through the middle and end of next week across a large area, but I think the most organized risks of severe weather over the next 10 days will be on Thursday, Friday, and probably on Monday and Tuesday, and then things will be a bit more scattered as we go into the middle and end of next week, and then beyond the middle of next week, things do become a lot more uncertain, but I do think things will be at least a little bit calmer for the last week of May, but we are definitely going to have a very active stretch here over the next 7 to 10 days of severe weather. Now let's go more into detail about our severe weather threat over the next 7 days, beginning with our significant tornado parameter values, which as we go into Thursday, we are going to have a fairly favorable corridor for severe weather, including the potential even for strong tornadoes across Illinois, Indiana, and even a little sliver there of Missouri and Kentucky. But again, this is all going to be dependent on if storms actually fire off. And due to how far north our low pressure system is, this could play a factor in terms of if our environment will be favorable for storms to actually fire off. But if they do fire off, it could get very dicey as we go into Thursday afternoon and evening. And then on Friday, we have a very similar story where our environment is going to be very favorable for tornadoes across a fairly large area, but our main corridor would be cross areas in the lower Ohio Valley through the Tennessee Valley, Arkansas, and Missouri, where a few tornadoes would be possible, but it's going to depend on our storm mode once again. But these values, again, are pretty high. When you see these pinks, it usually does indicate that a significant tornado threat could occur. But again, it's going to depend on storm initiation and as well as our storm mode. If we have a bunch of lines of storms ongoing throughout the day, our significant tornado threat would be much lower purely because our environment would not be being used correctly in this sort of environment. But nonetheless, Thursday and Friday are days that you want to make sure that you're staying weather aware. Now let's put this into more simplistic terms with the future radar, beginning with what's happening on Wednesday. That low pressure system will be moving over the Rockies, which will lead to at least some scattered severe weather across parts of Nebraska, the Dakotas, and Iowa. As we go into Thursday morning, this low pressure system is moving into the northern plains. Notice how far to the north and west this low pressure system is. And if it, if this does end up sitting all the way back over into North Dakota on Thursday, it really could severely limit if storms actually fire off. The GFS model does have at least a few storms attempting to fire across the Ohio Valley in the Midwest, but I'm not sure if this is going to be enough for there to be significant severe weather on Thursday. But if the low pressure system ends up being a bit further to the east, we definitely could see a more robust threat of severe weather take place. On Friday, the low pressure system will be slowly moving more to the east, and that should be enough for there to be a more significant round of severe weather on Friday across the Midwest and the Ohio Valley, where damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes would all be in play. And then on Saturday, that low pressure system is just to the north of New England. We'll still have a threat for scattered severe weather from Texas back into the southeast. And then we'll be transitioning to our next big storm system on Sunday and Monday. This one will also be very intense with a barometric pressure around 985 millibars Sunday evening, which is pretty intense for this time of the year. And this will bring at least some severe weather, I think, across the southern plains on Sunday, mainly across Oklahoma and Texas, perhaps some damaging winds, hail, and a tornado threat. And then on Monday, it moves right over the Rockies, where more severe weather will be a possibility Monday afternoon and evening across a fairly large area. Strong southwesterly flow will help to promote a more elevated tornado threat. And then on Tuesday, this storm will be moving more into areas like the Ohio Valley and back through the Dixie Alley, where another round of significant severe weather is a possibility. And then by the later half of next week, I do think things will start to quiet down to some extent, but how much it'll quiet 
quiet down is still uncertain. Let's at least get past the next seven days because I do think, again, it'll be very, very active. And one positive to everything that's going to be happening over the next seven days is that there will be a balance of rainfall. We've had a lot of significant flooding recently in the southeast, but over the next seven days, we are expecting there to be a pretty widespread area uh, of between anywhere from like a tenth of an inch of rain all the way up to an inch or two of rain, mainly in the purple and red. So no major flooding event is currently in the near horizon, but that could definitely change, especially next week. I do think there will be a better chance for at least some flooding in some areas. Another thing that is happening is a heat wave over the next several days. And on Wednesday, we are expecting temperatures to be as much as 10 to 30 degrees above average across the Great Plains in the Midwest. We could have temperatures in the Midwest in the 90s. And even as we go into Thursday, temperatures could also be in the 90s in the Ohio Valley as that low pressure system sits in the northern plains. Very strong southerly wind will pull tons of heat and moisture into the Ohio Valley, and it will feel like summer across those areas. You do not need a jacket anywhere in the Ohio Valley on Thursday. And then by Friday into Saturday, that low pressure system will bring some colder weather and relief to the Midwest and the Ohio Valley, and it will feel a bit more like spring as we go into the weekend. And then by next week, heat will build again, but not nearly as warm as what we're going to be talking about over the next 72 hours. Some above average temperatures in the Ohio Valley, Southern Plains and the Gulf Coast, and then below average temperatures will continue across the Northern Plains and as well as the Midwest. In terms of our temperatures on Wednesday, we are expecting the warmest weather that we've seen all year round for most of the country. West of the Rockies, you might be jealous, but yeah, we're going to be talking about 40s and 50s in some areas. But back over in Texas, we're talking about 100s and 110s. And then back over in the upper Midwest, many areas in the 90s. And then even back over in the Southeast, we are warming right up into summer with high temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s. And then on Thursday, even warmer weather will usher into the Ohio Valley, where most areas will be in the 80s. And even some areas like Chicago could reach the 90s. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We'll have another video tomorrow going way more in detail about our severe weather potential, and we should have way more details as well about timing and if storms will fire on Thursday and Friday. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys all again in the next video, which may be tomorrow morning, but if not, it'll be in the afternoon.